I've got a story I want to share for you. John B. Calhoun, not to be confused with John C. Calhoun, who's a slave owner who's been canceled from all of society. This is John B. Calhoun, 1960s. He worked at the National Institute for Mental Health. And here was his experiment. You ready? He put up uh, a, a pen, nine by four and a half feet metal pen, and he put four pairs of mice in the pen. And he gave them everything. He gave them water dispensers, plenty of food, tunnels, and, and nesting shelters. Gave them everything that they needed in the hierarchy of needs. Right? The mice could have all the food they could imagine, and there was no predators that would get them. There was no risk to their life whatsoever. He made them a little mouse utopia. Now, the original purpose of the study was to uh, look at a population density and study that. Right? But he learned a lot more. One of his lines in his analysis was, I shall largely speak of mice, but my thoughts are on man. Okay, so here's what happened. The number of mice doubled every 55 days, as mice are wont to do. But after 600 days, the population of the mice peaked at 2,200. Again, it started with eight. Peaked at 2,200. And there was plenty of room for more. There's room for another 1,600. But then the population declined. To what? Let me ask you that. Population declined. So it was at 8, went up to 2,200, and then declined. How low did it decline? If it got up to 2,200, like, the, like maybe it declined to like 1,500 and then kind of plateaued at 1,500? What do you think? Started at 8, went to 2,200, peaked, declined all the way down to They all died? What do you mean they all died? All of their needs were met. Plenty of food, plenty of water, no predators. It's not like a bunch of hawks from the neighboring experiment came in and ate them all. Like, all the mice died. Things started to take a turn for the worst on day 315. This is when all the mice started to go crazy. So what do I mean by that? The females abandoned their young. So again, as I'm reading this, like I'm speaking of mice, but just like John B. Calhoun, I'm, I'm speaking of mice, think of humans, right? The females abandoned their young. The male mice no longer defended their territory. Both sexes became more violent. They all became more sexually and socially deviant. The last thousand mice to be born avoided all stressful activity and focused only on themselves. Sounds familiar. This is a friend of Calhoun, a fellow scientist as well, who wrote about this experiment. Um, he said, other young mice growing into adulthood exhibited an even different type of behavior. And Calhoun called them the beautiful ones. Their time was devoted solely to grooming, eating, and sleeping. They never involved themselves with others, engaged in sex, nor would they fight. All appeared as a beautiful exhibit of the species with keen, alert eyes and a healthy, well-kept body. But these mice, however, could not cope with unusual stimuli. Though they looked inquisitive, they were, in fact, very stupid. Um, do I need to read that again <laughs> so that we can think about it and apply it to our current state of our American culture? First of all, they were called the beautiful ones. And they were dedicated to what? Grooming themselves. What, what is Gen Z or whatever it is, if not just living entirely on social media? How about this toy I came across the other day? This is a, a toy for little kids where they can pretend to be vloggers. Right? It's, got the, it's like a fake camera with a ring light and everything. Like How sad is that? But that's what we do. We're dedicated to grooming ourselves and uh, presenting ourselves to the camera and eating. This doesn't make any sense later. These mice had everything. They had all of their needs met. Why do they all die? <laughs> You'd think they'd love it. You'd think they'd thrive. They have all their food, all the water, all the play, no threats, place to stay, plenty of room. So why did they decline? I don't get it. Like, wouldn't they, like, plateau or something? Like, why would you decline? They all died. Here's what Calhoun's friend said. He said, Utopia 
when one has everything at any moment for no expenditure, prompts declines in responsibility, effectiveness, an awareness of social dependence, and finally leads to self-extinction. We can prosper ourselves to death. Wow, weird. We can prosper ourselves to misery. We can prosper ourselves to extinction. So why did these mice die? Oddly, they were too safe. The theory is they had a lack of a healthy challenge. And Calhoun said this is the paradox of a life without work or conflict. When all the sense of necessity is stripped from the life of an individual, life ceases to have purpose, and the individual, check this out, the individual dies in spirit. Hmm. Because you're thinking, Slater, we're not, gonna, we're not going extinct. Humans are not going extinct, although. Wow, that was deep and insightful. I want more of that. Like, subscribe, get more.